exotic class items give us a ton of versatility when it comes to the prismatic subclass and i got a spirit of the osmiomancy and spirit of verity which actually works really well together now i know osmiomancy you're typically thinking stasis grenades but this actually works on all grenades it just allows you to get your grenades back from hitting enemies with your grenade it's all you need you don't need to worry about the second part and then verity weapon final blows with a damage type matching your grenade will grant the stacking grenade damage bonus so in the subclass here i'm gonna go with song of frame for the super because this super is elite and then we're gonna go with phoenix dive so we can get our helion instantaneously and then i'm gonna go with arcane needle so we can apply unravel to our enemies three times with our three melee charges the grenade i'm gonna go with is vortex grenades our other aspect is gonna be feed the void for devour when we look at the fragments here facet of hope anytime we have an elemental buff so anytime we get a kill with our grenade or our melee we're gonna proc devour which is an elemental buff this is going to give us our class ability back faster so we can spawn more helions with our phoenix dive facet of balance so anytime we defeat enemies with light damage we're going to get melee energy and rapidly defeating targets with darkness energy is going to get us grenade energy so this is going to allow us to chain our abilities faster so we can have devour up at all times so we can get our class ability back faster so we can have our helion up a lot more facet of courage is going to allow us to deal more damage with our grenade which is void when we have afflicted enemies with a darkness debuff unravel from our melee then we're going to go with a facet of bravery anytime we defeat targets with our grenade we're going to get volatile rounds to our void grenades and because we're using void weapons to get death throws to proc our class item we're going to be getting volatile rounds when we get kills with those grenades and then anytime we get a kill with a powered melee we're going to get unraveling rounds and we're going to use a strand weapon so we can take advantage of those unraveling rounds as well as deal darkness damage when we need to build that grenade back up and then finally we're gonna have facet of purpose so anytime we pick up an orb we're gonna get restoration because we have a solar super you can also go with the stasis super for frost armor or you could go with needle storm for woven mail now for stats that you're gonna want to build into resilience recovery and discipline are the top three i would go in order of resilience and then discipline and then recovery when we look at weapons like i said we're going to be using a strand weapon and the call is perfect for this you could also use lost signal but we're going to take advantage of unraveling rounds so we want the call so we can use that and anytime we use phoenix dive we're going to proc slice on this which is going to allow us to sever targets another darkness debuff for the energy slot we're going to go with a void weapon and i have been loving this burst void hand cannon if you're lucky enough to get this one with repulsor brace you're going to get an overshield anytime you get a kill anyways but i have unrelenting frenzy which works just as well this thing can get repulsor brace destabilizing which is the role i really want and it can be in hand and the heavy slot here pro memoria has been my favorite from this launch of final shape in the heavy slot and i love this thing any strand linear also works really well strand rockets strand weapons are really good in the heavy slot because we can take advantage of unraveling rounds now we will look at the mods on our armor here i always like having heavy ammo finder so i can be stocked up on heavy ammo at all times and then void siphon so we can create orbs from rapid final blows with our void hand cannon grenade kickstart so we can get our grenades back super super fast and then firepower so we can create orbs when we get kills with those grenades resistance mods on the chest as always and then i'm going to throw absolution innervation and invigoration so anytime i pick up an orb i get a little bit more of a reduction to our cooldowns on all the abilities across the board when i pick up an orb and then on the class item bomber outreach and then a reaper so anytime we use our phoenix dive we're going to get a little bit more energy towards our melee and our grenades and then we're also going to be able to spawn an orb after we get a weapon final blow after we proc that phoenix dive to take this one step further in the artifact we're going to use expanding abyss so anytime someone on our team is weakening an enemy we're going to deal more damage with our void sources shield crush anytime we have woven mail frost armor or an overshield our melee is going to recharge faster and when we're amplified or radiant our grenades are going to recharge faster now you're wondering we're not using dawn so how are we going to get radiant radiant orbs and then void hegemony is going to be another one here defeating weakened targets provides an overshield again if our teammates are weakening targets we're going to be getting overshield as well as dealing more damage to them now this build i was sleeping on this i can't lie i was trying to get a different class item and i've had this for the longest time but after actually building into it it's a super good build to really spam those grenades and get high damage with those grenades as well because if we're stacking up those death throws we're going to be dealing a lot more damage with our grenades and anytime we're damaging enemies with our grenades we're going to be getting grenade energy back from spirit of the osmiomancy so this all around has some really really good synergy 
together and i highly recommend you try this one out if you manage to get this roll still looking for some other roles on this class item so definitely stay tuned to more videos if we can figure those out and get those lucky rolls for myself if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel if you're new it's free and it helps me out a ton be sure to go check out my tiktok for short form content where i post breakdowns of videos like this as well as other things like guides on how to get the exotic class item mission or how to find all the prismatic fragments make sure to also come on over to twitch and check me out over there we live stream us looking for all these things recording builds live doing a ton of things helping you guys get these class items you name it we're going to be doing it over there so be sure to go check me out on twitch as well again thank you for making it to the end of the video hope you guys have a great rest of your day we'll see you in the next one peace